Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. My finger is very secure. It is attached to my body. Sometimes I stick it in things. Sometimes I rub it on things. And sometimes I accidentally cut off the tip of it and then don't have a fingerprint for a while. It's healed now, by the way. Thanks for not asking or caring. Got a question here submitted by a partner community over at go.tagjag.com slash pcpitstop. Bob asks, since installing updates from Windows Vista Home to Windows 7 Ultimate, hey, good move, by the way, the fingerprint sensor installed on my laptop has stopped working. Is there any assistance you could give me, please? Well, Bob, first thing you, you might have done is, is run Microsoft's Upgrade Advisor, because that would have told you whether or not a driver was available for your fingerprint scanner to work inside of uh, Windows 7. J just because it, it ran fine on your laptop, and maybe it's built in, maybe you've got an attachment to it, just because it ran fine on that operating system, Windows Vista, doesn't mean that it's going to run fine in Windows 7. Because drivers sometimes are poorly written. That is, they're just Bad. And sometimes Microsoft, or any operating system for that matter, the vendor of the operating system, uh, the vendors attached to the operating system as well, sometimes there's just issues. Things change. Code changes. APIs change. Application programming interface. And so if Microsoft came along and said, okay, well, in Windows Vista, uh, this is going to work this way and you'll be fine. But in Windows 7, we're going to change a few things, and it's no longer going to work, so you're going to have to update your software for the driver of the thing to work the finger. I don't know if there's actually anybody at Microsoft who, who sounds like that, and if so, I apologize deeply. <clears throat> but the bottom line is, you're probably going to need to contact either the com company that created the laptop for you, uh, that company likely cobbled together parts and bits and pieces from a variety of vendors. So the hard drive manufacturers, not necessarily the same manufacturer as uh, the, the, the company that created uh, your video card inside of your laptop, and certainly not that which created the fingerprint scanner. They're all created by different companies. And then you've got the blame game going on. It's Microsoft's fault. No, it's the fingerprint scanner hardware. Oh, it's this fault. It's the operating system. It's this. It's that. It's this. Good luck. So, you might have to roll back to Vista if you really want to use the fingerprint scanner. Or, maybe, you can check the manufacturer's website for either the, the company that created the laptop or, or uh, the company that created the fingerprint scanner because there may be driver updates available for either one of them inside of Windows 7. Or, you may be sol.exe. That's, that's solitaire. Back in the day, you could... <clears throat> Don't know what else to tell you. Kind of what you got to do. You need software to run hardware. The driver needs to work. Because if it doesn't, yeah, it's pretty much useless. But then again, you may want to reconsider the safety and security of a fingerprint scanner to begin with. Because biometrics isn't perfect. As a matter of fact, Microsoft sells fingerprint scanners in their store here. Uh, well, I live in the Seattle area. Redmond's just a stone's throw away. Uh, but there in the Microsoft store, they say clearly, this is not a security device. You can't use it to log in and authenticate yourself. Their fingerprint scanner. So you, you may want to check to see whether or not that's actually valid. Then you have to ask yourself, is your finger really worth that much? It might be. I'm just saying. And as the chat room says, KKKKKKKKKKKKKKK. I don't know why. It was unmoderated for a second. You may have a different opinion. You're more than welcome to post it as a, a video response or you know, post text as a follow-up on the page where you happen to be watching this video. My email address, chris at perillo.com, community of tech enthusiasts, geeks.perillo.com. We've also got the uh, chat room. Sometimes we have people come in there who aren't very mature, which seems to be about 99% of the galaxy on the Internet. <clears throat> You're more than welcome to, to, to stop by my blog, chris.perillo.com. Get your own free WordPress blog at lockernome.net. We'll archive your live stream for you there, too. You can uh, save money at coupons.lockernome.com. Then you're more than welcome to join us in the chat room if you are a mature individual who likes to talk about technology, software, hardware, services. You love debating those issues in a clean, concise, and you know non-volatile fashion. <clears throat> You're more than welcome to join us. Typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with a live video feed in this chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.